Hello, this is Oscar Asuncion with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, I will explain how to install and configure the reverse proxy server for a SAL Communication Server 1000 deployment. The purpose of the reverse proxy server is to allow SAL remote access to the primary UCM running on one server, while an element manager, a network routing service manager, or a media application server is running on a different server. The reverse proxy server is an Apache web server and it is a best practice deployment for single sign-on environments. The reverse proxy server will be installed and configured on the server running the primary UCM. SAL remote access users will access the reverse proxy server which will serve as the UCM. To install the reverse proxy server, first download the proxy underscore setup dot zip file from support.avaya.com to the server running the primary UCM. Then, using a secure shell client, log into the server running the primary UCM as admin2. Unzip the file into a directory. In this example, we used a proxy underscore setup directory. You will need root permissions to install the reverse proxy server because it needs to install RPMs. So super user to root. Change the directory to slash home slash admin to slash proxy underscore setup. Run the install underscore proxy shell script. The proxy install is now complete. Now, before we configure the reverse proxy server, we need to collect the IP addresses and fully qualified domain names of each server running the UCM, EM, NRSM, and MASS. Once you have collected this info, run the collect underscore details shell script again as root. Enter the IP address and fully qualified domain name for the primary UCM. Enter the number of element managers in your Communication Server 1000 deployment. In our example, we have two. Enter the IP address and fully qualified domain name of the first element manager. Enter the IP address and fully qualified domain name of the second element manager. Indicate whether your Communication Server 1000 deployment has a Network Routing Service Manager. In our example, enter Y for yes. Now enter the number of Network Routing Service Managers in your Communication Server 1000 deployment. In our example, we have two. Enter the IP address and fully qualified domain name of the first Network Routing Service Manager. Enter the IP address and fully qualified domain name of the second Network Routing Service Manager. Indicate whether your Communication Server 1000 deployment has a Media Application Server. In our example, enter Y for yes. Now enter the number of Media Application Servers in your Communication Server 1000 deployment. In our example, we have one. Enter the IP address and fully qualified domain name of the media application server. We have completed the installation of the reverse proxy server. Now we have to configure the server. This step will configure the reverse proxy server to redirect to one of the servers running an element manager, to one of the servers running a network routing service manager, and to one of the servers running a media application server. The reverse proxy server can only redirect to one of each server at any one time. Once again as root, run the configure underscore proxy shell script. Enter Y to configure the server. The primary UCM IP address and fully qualified domain name will be displayed. Then you will be prompted to select which element manager should the reverse proxy server redirect to. In our example, I have chosen Element Manager 1. You will then be prompted to select which Network Routing Service Manager should the Reverse Proxy Server redirect to. 
In our example, I have chosen Network Routing Service Manager 1. In our example, we only had one media application server, so no choice was provided. Confirm the selections by entering Y for yes. The script will start the HTTP daemon. At this point, you will be able to access the reverse proxy server through SAL remote access. This concludes our video on how to install and configure the reverse proxy server for SAL Communication Server 1000 deployments. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information is useful to you. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.